Welcome to Ron Morris's How to Present a Case Study. So here's why you're gonna get a case study from me. Like I got any business doing case studies. Uh, four months ago, I'm on my motorcycle riding five miles an hour. I hit diesel grease. Why, I have no idea. Why a diesel would just crap all over the road and leave me there, I have no idea. Riding my motorcycle for 30 years, never had a problem, never an accident, never a scratch. Boom, on my side, crack the inside of my tibia. Okay, you know, how bad could it be? Well, they dragged the bike off, they dragged me off, no scratches, no blood, no broken tissue, uh, nothing dramatic, um, except I just couldn't stand on the leg. So eight hours later, after all the pictures, the MRIs and the x-rays, as the on-call surgeon's telling me I need to spend the night, that's where our case study begins. Because my background is fitness and health and Qigong healing, herbs, acupuncture, and medicine. This is where our case study will collide, crash right into itself, and instead of being at odds with it, you know, and a juxtapositions of attitudes and ideals and egos, you're gonna see that if you have a Zen approach, a calm approach to how to handle this, you know, you can manifest a faster recovery, a recovery without surgery, without pins, without plates, without drugs. Now the medical community had a, a big part in how to help me, you know, the x-rays, extremely helpful. My surgeon, uh, Pat, awesome. Young surgeon, hot shot, saw the chance to let me do this with his supervision. And I can't stress that enough. He and I made an agreement all through this to give and take. And so in the coming baseline study, you're gonna see the gives and the takes. And, and, and by the end of this case study, you're gonna understand that, you know, if people will just slow down, look at what is and what isn't, instead of taking just the easy, quick way out, which can be detrimental to your health down the road. That's the big, biggest thing. I'm an athlete and I'm a martial artist and I wanna stay those things. I need to be flexible, agile, strong, and lean. And so my first task was crutches, which we'll get to in the next segment.